I'm so happy we decided to walk. I love spending time with you like this. You know that? Hey, you know what I forgot to tell you? What? Is that Jake and Amanda have asked me to be a groomsman in their wedding. Aren't they already married? Yes, they are. But I guess they just kind of want to do it all over again. Will you ever get married again, Daddy? I don't know. I don't know, but if I do, it probably won't be for a long time. But what about Greenlight? Greenlee's married to somebody else now. But don't you still love her? Things change. But don't worry, okay? Because she's always going to be a part of our life. Those are the morning's top stories. We'll take a quick break and be back with sports and weather. You really have to stop doing this to yourself. How does the most famous woman in the state disappear? When her plane goes up, it has to come down somewhere. Clearly, I'm not going to be able to say anything to lose your mind. So maybe I need to do something instead. What do you say we go away for a few days? We'll go to a spa, to the wine country, anything you want. Running away won't help. Besides, I promised Jake and Amanda I'd be in their wedding. Yeah, Amanda told me. Do you really think that's a good idea, given what's going on with us? Jake is my friend. He was my friend before there was an us. Back before I was part of this whole insanity. When I was... When you were what? When I was proud of who I was. And I, when I wasn't scared that we might have caused Erica's death. Dorothy, wake up. My name is Erica Keene. Well, your cut's infected and you've got a hell of a fever. So do something. Do something. Do something. There, how's that? You're not listening. Can we talk about you accepting this invitation? We agreed I need to act normal, not raise any suspicions about Erica. You could have politely declined. That's what people do when it's not convenient to attend a function, when they don't want to go. Jake's my friend, and Amanda asked me personally. If I turned them down, it would be obvious. Besides, maybe I want to go. It could be fun. Greenlee, please forget about being a bridesmaid and come away with me. I promise you it will be fun. I already said yes. If I bail now, they'll want a reason. What should I tell them? I'm sorry, I can't come because David and I have to search for Erica's possibly dead body. Okay. Fine. Do what you want. We have our meeting with the hospital board soon. We should be going. Where are you, Erica? You know, your bedside manner is really bad. I'll work on it. Haven't you ever been around people? You must have had a life at some point. This is my life, and I like it. Well, well some people pay good money to have Erica Kane staying with them. You charge money for men to stay with you? I didn't say that. Tell me, uh, what, what exactly are you famous for? Oh, will you just stop it now? Please just stop it. I can't do this anymore. I don't want to. Just don't talk to me. My leg hurts. Please, I just have to, have to get out of here. I can't can't take it anymore. Which part can't you take? The part where I can't walk. I can't leave this mountain. I can't get back to my life. I miss my life. I miss my kids. Mm. Ten marriages. Hmm. That must mean that you have, what, what 30 kids? Two beautiful daughters. My daughter Bianca is in Paris. She lives there. And Kendall is in Spain. Spain. Please, as soon as I get out of here, I, I want to go visit them. I want to go see them mm -hmm. in Europe. Well, first you're going to have to get off this mountain. Leaving. 
Last time you didn't make it more than two steps before you hit the dirt. Think you're gonna do better than that now? Uh-huh. Just watch me. Mm. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Just, just, just a minute. Yes, yes, she did. We're on our way to the hospital right now. Well, I'm sure seeing you will make her feel much better. <laughs> Thank you for my makeup set. Yeah, your gift was a big hit. Huge. Oh, good. You know what I really wanted to get you? I wanted to get you a chocolate fudge sundae bigger than you are. <laughs> Huge. <laughs> We're kind of hoping that uh, Anya's appendix gets better real soon, right? Maybe Madison can be my babysitter. Madison is uh, juggling a couple jobs right now. She's a little busy, I think. But she doesn't work at night. Mm, well, not every night. Yep, that's true. that's true. But I'm sure the nights that she has off, she, you know, wants to relax a little bit, some friends. I could be up for some babysitting. Madison. What? I'd love to. You wouldn't wear me out, would you? <laughs> hey, uh, great. Yeah, hey, Ems, why don't you go see if you can find some flowers to add to the bouquet? All right? Are you sure? Yes, yes, of course. She's great. You and I both know I could use the money. <laughs> hey, good luck at the hospital. Okay. I'll see you later, all right? Mm-hmm. Good. Hey. You can't get up, can you? Totally twisted my knee. Are you serious? Were you ever going to say anything to me? I hate being the damsel in distress. Really? Well, if you can't even get up, you're coming to the hospital with us. Oh. No, I'm serious. Come on, take oh. it easy. I know how bad that can be. Ow. Hey, Ems, we got one more coming to the hospital. <laughs> Come on, take it easy. Thank you. I put a lot of weight on it, okay? There you go. Look at you, Ems. It's impressive. So you're saying that's... All right, what happened? Busted up me. I'm fine. She's not fine. She can barely walk. Seriously. Okay, let's take a look. No, right. I just yes. need to keep on icing it and rest it. Well, let me at least make sure you didn't do anything damaging. Right? Thank you. Yes. Ah. Oh. Oh. All right, I'll order an x-ray. Excellent. You see? Okay. Well, you guys should go. You should go see the babysitter. We will. We will. But first, we're going to hang out here for a little while. And this details the steps we can take to immediately make those changes happen. What's Madison doing here? I don't know. I, uh, I should go see how she's doing. Greenly. Hey. Hey. Is everything okay? Just a twisted knee and an overprotective Ryan. Yeah. I know how he can be. This will not keep me from work, though, I promise. Any word on Erica? Nothing, but uh, we should hear from her soon. Hi, Emma. How's it going? Masses can be my new babysitter. That's great. 